Oompa Loompa Doopa Dee Doo. I've got another riddle for you. Oompa Loompa Doopa Dee Da. If you are wise, then you will go far. What do you get when you gobble down sweets? Eating as much as an elephant eats. I don't know the rest. Hey, welcome back to our stupid directions of Corbin. I'm Willy Wonka. Name that movie. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Things like that. Great lesser. No, I don't. Gene Wilder film. The world's greatest lover. Gene Wilder. Large penis. Today we got a uh, cricket video. <laughs> so this is actually from uh, Barut, India, and this is how fit are Indian cricketers? Ah, how fit are they, Rick? I think they're about as fit as a fiddle, my friend. Well, you know, like, uh, I wonder what, like, we know here, like, the typical builds of um, different Just different sports. sports. Right. Football players, huge, massive, muscular everywhere. Right. Soccer players are normally lean but really cut. Right. Uh, swimmers just freak. Like, tall. Tall, long, freak, torso, webbed long feet. Arms. Right. <laughs> Base, baseball players are the, the ones that can vary. Uh, they vary all over the place. You can get guys like John, Giancarlo Stanton, who is a specimen, to on the exact same team you can get. I mean, especially pitchers. Yeah. Pitchers can look like, yeah, I mean, you just assume these are just guys that like just, you know, average run-of-the-mill looking dudes. Uh, clearly the most athletic and in-shape guys are golfers. Am I right? <laughs> Am I right? Well, some are, but... Some are in good shape. But. Yeah, but you got, like at baseball, yeah. you got like big poppy. But then you also got... Um, Red Sox legend with the bloody ankle. Why the fuck am I forgetting his name? But he's an asshole. Oh, yeah, I'm seeing his face. What, with why? the bloody sock. Anyway. I think he's a Trump sport too, which sucks. Oh, you know but who, he, was like, he was like fat and Fernando pitching. Valenzuela was... He had a big tummy. But yeah, I... For the most, Babe Ruth was out of shape. Yeah, he was. Oof. But I, I'd imagine since there's like almost everybody outside of the the, um, well, he has to run too, right? Uh, everybody has to do running. Yeah, I've, and so I'd imagine they're all pretty fit. I would imagine they're. I've never seen somebody that looks like an out of shape person playing never. cricket either. I, I think they're about as fit as footballers. Yeah, that'd be interesting. All right, here we go. Just check this little info video out. The game of cricket, I think they already built like an ox. He knows his body in and out. Strongly built guy. He can jump, he can flip, he can do anything. So is it fair to say someone like Kohli now, see his fitness is at the center of his career? He probably knows enough about fitness to become a coach himself. Absolutely. I'm, I'm right in saying that. Absolutely. Okay. He knows his body in and out. Mm. I'm asking you this from my own perspective because when I went vegetarian, I had to really adjust kind of my routine, uh, my recovery period, all that. What happened when he went vegetarian? As his coach, did you have to like adjust a lot of Obviously, things? Obviously, I mean... I mean, uh, the human body does not know whether you're a vegetarian or non-vegetarian. Mm. It only identifies as macronutrients and micronutrients. We need to find the balance. So we had to make adjustments and like fish to water, he took to it. And whenever he needs to make any adjustments and all I have, we all have a conversation and he'll always have pertinent questions. Once he's convinced, um, there's no looking back. <laughs> he amazed me. I mean, I saw Ms. Dhoni, I mean, I... I got into the team in 2015. Of course, I've seen him before too. He's a hill boy. Mm. I think he's a pahadi. They call it pahadi. Yeah. Strongly built guy. Maybe it's like country Mm. strong. Is Is that what that means? Uh, Pavan Nigi is the same. Like a farmer. Yeah. I think uh, this Anuj Rawat is the same. Mm. That's for IPL now. I think these guys who come from the hilly regions are naturally very, very, very strong. Mm. And to play the game of cricket, I think they're already built like an ox. Mm. And I think Emma's played a lot of sport in his younger days. I think soccer has been his favorite. Yeah. And I've hmm. seen him play soccer. The way he kicks the ball, he can pack a punch. Mm. He can pack a punch. I mean, when I got into the team, it was already towards the end of his, uh, I mean, probably in his home stretch. Mm. Uh, it was 
more of taking care of his body if he plays a match or practice recovery was more important and uh, he, he had his own ways to do things and I never troubled him on that. Here and there he'll ask me a few things and uh, I will help him. What was his own way of doing things? For him primarily it was his skill practice. Okay. So he used to bat a lot and then he believed in a lot of recovery in between uh, matches. To be very honest, I will never take credit for anything he's done. Mm. <laughs> he knew exactly what he was doing. And uh, even the exercise regime which he probably followed was something which he has arrived over a period of time. Gotcha. And he was self-taught. He was a natural. I think uh, he was gifted with supreme strength and that carried him through. Mm. He's 40 plus and still playing. Mm. And uh, I would say that <laughs> he's really gifted. I remember telling him that, you know, you are an extraordinary gymnast. Please call a gymnastic coach and thank him for what you're doing now. He was like flummoxed. I said, what? He can do a kip off, he can do a front flip, he can do a back flip. He must have seen it in television, yeah. sir. And he's got the explosive ability because of the... I think he's done a lot of gymnastics in his formative years. Mm -hmm. I think gymnastics also play a major role in development as an athlete. Oh, yeah. And not all of them will get the opportunity to do that. But if you can do that at a very young age, nothing like it. And probably that has helped a lot for Rishabh Pant. Uh, Rishabh Pant, if you notice, he's very acrobatic because of that. He can jump, he can mm. flip, he can do anything. But in batting, do you think that helps? I'm not a connoisseur of batting, but I'm sure all these things help. Mm. I mean, I always believe in multi-directional approach to life itself. I think a multi-directional approach to sport is definitely the need of the hope. <laughs> ah, little uh, misleading in the title, obviously. Yeah. The title. yeah, it's like it was... It was what is the fitness like for these particular players? Yeah. Not how fit are Indian? Players. Yeah. Okay. So. <laughs> yeah. If there is a video, because I would like to know, like, what, what the average of of everybody is. Required. But it is actually kind of interesting because um, uh, the all the at least the first two MS obviously is a much older generation than Virat Kohli. Right. And so they, that generation is going to think one thing. They've, they've always done this, so they're going to keep doing it. Right. And why? Why would they change your new confound, confounded knowledge? It, you don't know anything. I've played the game, um, but obviously it works for them, and so they do it. But then obviously Virat Kohli, probably there's a lot of analytics that goes into what he sure. does and the computer generated con, imagery. Yeah, that they do the, for him, and, and then also being a vegetarian, which I did not know. I didn't uh, know but obviously, I'm sure that's quite common uh, if for Indian cricketers because it's highest percentage of vegetarians in the world I think right. is in India right yeah. uh, there's and there's actually uh, I think one vegan quarterback in the NFL oh really uh, plays for the Bears he's the uh, Justin Fields oh. uh, he's full vegan didn't know that which <laughs> I'd imagine is difficult to do but obviously they've got <laughs> world class trainers that can make meals for them and yeah. so it's probably not too difficult for him yeah. uh, but that's got to be difficult yeah uh, especially protein intake which can be made up with combinations of beans and rice in and of themselves that's a yeah. perfect protein but you do have to not only make sure that you're getting the protein, you also have to make sure that you're getting the iron and the other vitamins that you're not getting that you'd be getting if you had a, a protein diet that's based on animal. Um, yeah, and but fish and I'd imagine all the cricketers are more like... Um, what is the sport that I would equate? I don't think they're as big as football players because I, I, I don't think they need to. They don't need to be. In the same way that a, a, a footballer doesn't need to be. Soccer footballers don't need to be. Yeah, no. I would find them to be far more average built compared to, say, an NFL player or an or a NBA player. They would be, you would see them and not necessarily, you would know it's a fit guy, but they wouldn't stand out to you. Whereas if you saw an NFL player or an NBA player in person, your head turns. Yeah. Uh, they're probably similar to actually NBA. It's just they're not. Not the size, height, right? Of the, <laughs> yeah, you, they definitely can't be in the NBA. <laughs> you got to be like you got to be like six eight to be in the NBA. The first time I saw t Tony Parker in person. Now Tony Parker was the point guard for the San Antonio Spurs. Point guards are typically the smallest, fastest guys on the floor. That's their job in that position. And so when you watch a game and you see Tony Parker on the floor, you think he's your height. You know, he's just, he's, he's a little guy out there because he is compared to the rest of the guys. And then I saw him in person and he was like almost Micah's size. Is he? Yeah, he was like six foot three. Not yeah. Micah's six foot four, but I was like, but, oh, but okay. From what I remember, Tony Parker, he couldn't, t like, obviously he was in shape. Yeah. But he wasn't like 
bulked up. No, I don't think not. You, you don't need in the NBA. You don't need that because one, you you're going to be a lot slower. And it's also it's also genetics as well. Like I remember yeah. the trainer for the San Antonio Spurs was doing a uh, an answer, a question and an answer thing on the radio in San Antonio, and one of them was people were wanting to know how they could get David Robinson's arms because he had the legendary. Be- his arms are gorgeous. And he said, well, you could eat like David and you could give his workout regimen, but you don't have his genetics. Yeah, no. You, You're just genetics not going to get those arms. Anyways, but if you do know a video that can actually explain a little bit more about the actual fitness mm-hmm. of cricketers, that'd be cool. Yeah. Uh, I thought that's what the and video was. required of them. Yeah. yeah. So if, if there are videos, you can send it our way or other cricket videos we can react to. Let us know down below. Just.